I didn't know how big of a deal it was, which is probably what allowed me to have the mental clarity and freedom to uh, accomplish such a feat. You know, like when I moved out here uh, from Detroit in 2015, I believe, I didn't even know that the, what the comedy store was. Like I didn't know, well no, I had visited out here before then. I think it was like earlier 2015. But when I moved up, before I moved out here, I didn't, like my buddy Trey is the one who told me about the comedy store. He was like, yeah man, the comedy store, and like many other people. I was like, what they like, sell comic books or something? It's <laughs> like, no man, it's a comedy club whatever i get here you know my friends they're working there i'm going to the madhouse and whatnot and mm -hmm. then some of the guys that was working at the madhouse came down from san diego and then they started working at the comedy store and they was like hey man you want a job i was like no i didn't move here to get no fucking job that's why i live in a van so i don't have to <laughs> work and it's like no man you want to take the job now i didn't even know that being passed was a thing mm -hmm. i didn't understand that until i started working there right I was already hosting a show at the comedy store. It was Crack 'em Up, which mm -hmm. is the black show there. Mm -hmm. And the black show pretty much got nut there, at least at the time, had nothing to do with, you know, the rest of the goings on of the comedy store. It was like, an independent show. Yeah, independent I had produced. been hosting a show there for like half a year. And then now I'm working at the store and all these people are like, oh man, you're so funny. Where have you been? I'm like, I host a fucking show here. What yeah. are you but they don't come up there for black, at least back then. Mm -hmm. They didn't come up there for black night. Mm -hmm. But anyway, started So working. when they ask you to work there, you're like, bitch, I already work here. No, it was more so like, I'm a, com I'm a comedian. I don't, I'm not about to fucking be no door guy. I'm not about to grovel and fucking park motherfuckers' cars and stuff. Like, right. I didn't been on TV already. Mm -hmm. You know, this is me trying to big myself up. But uh, I was like, hey, you know, whatever. Ain't like I'm doing nothing else. But somebody broke it down. Was like, hey, you get a lot of opportunities if you work here. And it was broken do down lightly, but I still hadn't comprehended it. Mm -hmm. You know, I to tell you the truth, I didn't really comprehend it until maybe I got past. Because by the time I started working there, I was like, oh, we get free drinks and shit? Hey, man, this this my kind of place. You should have said that in the first yeah, place. Yeah, <laughs> man, I started drinking and having fun and, you know, having too much fun. But we can get into that later. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, and then I went to uh, Just for Laughs. And the guy who was booking uh, the store at the time, Adam Egott. I remember he saw me out there. He was like, what the fuck? What are you doing out here? Like, you just started working at the store. It's like, well, I, I've been doing black comedy f f like for as long as I've been doing this. Yeah. Like I had gotten sent out to Just for Laughs for some Kevin Hart stuff. Mm -hmm. This is before I ever did New Faces. Normally your first time doing yeah. Just for Laughs is New Faces. Right. I'm out there and doing- Shows. Yeah. yeah, like doing other shit. Right. So, you know, it was, I've got a pretty interesting introduction to comedy as a whole. And did that change Adam's mind about putting you up? Did you come back home and he was like, oh, you're going up? Or no, I don't think so. I think maybe he just thought like, you know, I really don't know. But I think he just was like, oh, this guy is, I'm not the guy that is going to, it's not up to me to get him over. He's going to get something some way, somehow. Yeah. It's not just up to me. It's not like if I never pass this guy, he'll never be anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's not like he's waiting for the store to ingratiate him in right. the world of comedy. You're going to go out and make your comedy career whether right. the store recognizes your talent or not. Right. Now, yeah. funny enough, I've got so many people that think that, that nobody has done shit you know which you know that's it's all on me but like yeah. when everybody thinks like oh that guy's gonna be all right yeah like oh uh, i'm fucking poor homeless <laughs> i could like somebody take me on the road i've never been taken on the road by much of anybody really for more than one date wow did uh ari shafir he took me out and uh neil brennan he'll he'll uh hit me up from time to time that's about it man yeah yeah but i think you know between me fucking off and doing things poorly and just people thinking I'm going to be all right. It's like, hey, I'd love to, uh, Bert Kreischer, hit, hit, right. hit your buddy up, yeah. man. I'd love to go out with you. You got 30 comics out yeah, on this man, baseball like, tour. Can you make it 31? Joe Rogan, yeah. hit me up, brother. Yeah. I, you know, uh, fucking Ian Edwards, Owen Smith. I, hey, man, I ain't doing shit, but people think I'm doing stuff. Yeah. 
But no, it's uh, it, it was wonderful getting in at the store, and, it, and that was an accomplishment, and uh, very grateful for that. You know, sometimes when I feel like I got nothing to stand on, mm-hmm. I got that much to stand on. It's like, man, I ain't did shit. It's like, well, you did. If you stopped, if I stopped doing comedy right now, mm-hmm. my name was even if they paint over it, my name was on that wall. That's right, which means something to a lot of people. There's a very limited number of people that are on that wall. Yeah, compared to the people that have tried. Yeah, to get their name on that wall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You are my fourth guest that's been passed at the store. Really? Who else? Yeah, uh, Ryan Sickler just recently got passed, but he's been doing comedy forever. Right, right, right. Steve Fury was on uh, earlier this week, but to the viewers at home, it'll feel like two, three weeks ago. Uh, and then Frank Castillo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I got passed, I think, before those guys, and uh, nobody really gave me shit about it, but I didn't know that like at least at the time like to be passed as a door guy you had to be there for like two years Mm. and apparently i had got passed before two years and uh did it cause a big kerfuffle no because i wasn't a jerk off and you people could tell some some people who still work there (laughs) that's not the shit i'm just saying they still work there would say that uh I was a bad door guy which is just not true i just didn't take that job too seriously sure i'm like hey listen we tell people where to sit we listen to comedy we do comedy and we drink alcohol this is not we don't work for the cia right, it's not rocket surgery yeah i'm not yeah. i'm not trying to suck dick here i'm not trying to kiss up to anybody i'm not trying to act like i'm bigger than i am or smaller than i am i'm here i do my job i have fun i love everybody so nobody ever really gave me any shit but you know late and this is not to toot my own horn or anything but you know people be like man you know I would if you weren't as funny as you are I would really say this is unfair but it's like <laughs> clearly you were you know good enough to be passing I'm like hey yeah. brother I didn't know I yeah. I didn't even know so you do your uh the, your sets to get past mm-hmm. and part of this is cuz I was still living in a van too like when you I'd be thinking about other stuff like I ain't thinking about I'm trying to find somewhere shaded to park. Right. Not really thinking about like, oh, I got to, today is the, fuck all that. Where's my good shaded parking (laughs) spot at, you know? Right. So the day we were doing our sets to get past, I don't even think I knew that that's what was happening. Right. It's just a Tuesday to you. The door, it was a Monday. The door guys get three minutes Mm -hmm. every Monday. I'm just doing my Monday three minute spot, Mm -hmm. you know? I'm like, oh, because somebody cover me. I go in, I do my thing, I leave. Few days later, like your past, I'm like, when I when was the test? I didn't even know, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, no, every, all the guys and girls there are great, you know. Yeah, the store is a special spot. It is, it is, and I'm I'm lucky and fortunate to be a part of that, you know. <laughs>